Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks and we are in West Los Angeles. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a basic pork chop. So I have my pork chop here. It's got bone in, adds for extra flavor and tenderness. Um, and it's about a half inch thick. So pork chops are pretty basic. Little salt, little pepper on both sides. Just pretty lightly, just take a little pinch. It's always good to have a separate bowl of your seasoning spices uh, because if you reach into your salt cruet with porky hands, that's not a good thing. So I've separated out what I'm gonna be using for seasoning today. Okay, so that's set, that's seasoning. I'll turn on my portable gas burner to, a, to high and about a half a tablespoon of butter, just like with the lamb. And a tablespoon of oil. And that combination helps prevent burning the butter. Okay, let your pan get nice and hot. We wanna create a sear on the outside of the pork. Pork can dry out pretty easily, and so creating that sear will help keep that juice inside. If you ever have the chance to brine your pork before you cook it, that's great. So the combination of salt, sugar, and water, brining it overnight in the refrigerator, that will add extra moisture and flavor to your pork. All right, so just let your pan get nice and hot. We want a hot sizzle when we drop that pork down into that pan. The butter sizzling with the oil. So to sear it, give it about a minute on each side. Do a minute here and then I'll flip it for another minute. Okay, it's been a minute, so let's flip those. Flip it. And you can see it has nice brown on the outside, so that'll give it nice color too. So after this, I'm going to leave it down for about three minutes per side. And I have here a cookie sheet, which I'll use to cover the pork chop. If you want to use tin foil or if you have a lid for your pan, that's great. I'm just going to give it a quick check. Make sure that I've got some brown in the bottom. Okay, cover it up. So when I cover it, I want to turn down the heat. I don't need it on high anymore because I've seared it. I'll put it at about medium. So about three minutes. People do tend to overcook pork and that makes for something that's not so good. So don't overcook it. If it's a little pink inside when you cut it open, that's okay. Um, it will be an opaque pink. It won't be the clear pink or the jelly-like pink of the raw pork. Um, there'll be a difference in the pink. So that's what you're ultimately looking for. Okay, that's been three minutes. I've, if you want to get a good feel of how well your meat is done, you can give it a little poke. It's feeling pretty firm, so I know that I need to flip it and maybe not even give it as much time on the other side. Nice brown, so give it a feel. If it's pretty firm, which that is, I'll just give it a little bit to flash, get a little browner, and then it'll be ready. So if you feel squishy, squishy, you know that it's raw inside. If you feel firm, you know it's more well done. All right, our pork chop is done. Pork, unlike steak, can be served immediately. So eat up, and that's how to make pork chops. Thanks for watching. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send us an email at requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.